Hello everyone and welcome. In this short, I had the opportunity to get on a freshwater lake, private, not open to the public, and the nicest guy, I want to say, just welcomed my team in. We brought the cameras, we went along the seafloor of this wonderful private lake, and saw some beautiful sized bass. A big thank you to Mr. Pat Lathe and it was just wonderful to meet him and his people and the lake is calm as can be as if you take a look here at this shot it's just amazing how good it looks out there in the water and you can look off into the distance since it's surrounded by these trees there's around the corners a waterfall which is just wonderful to look at and then as we drop back into the sea floor itself, I want to say sea floor because I'm on the sound all the time, but as we look at the floor of this lake, we're only in about 30 feet of bottom depth. Not real clear in here, but I'm able to navigate okay. There's a lot of big stumps. Oh, look at that. Big bass there. So I think that's a striped bass is what they would call it. Probably about four pounds. And I'm not in real deep water right now. I'm only in about, let's see, 15 feet of water is all I'm in. And you have a nice shot of the bottom here. A little bit of silt comes up as I fly over it. But it's tricky navigating around these different logs. And there is a lot of big logs in here. I'm a little deeper now. I'm almost to 30 feet. I don't know what that bright orange thing is. Maybe somebody lost a weight or a lure. <laughs> Uh, something coming up out of the seafloor there. You can see a little bit of the surface. But I'm wondering where these fish are. Now there's a nice big log. I've watched these different shows where they bring logs up from the bottom. They use divers. I don't understand why they couldn't use one of my high-tech cameras to find them a lot faster and easier. I mean, I'm in this seven and a half acre lake and I'm finding beautiful logs here and there. Oh, look at that fish. Nice one. Oh, probably, according to my camera, it's about a foot, foot and a half. That's a biggie there, though. That's a, that's a wall hanger. <laughs> oh, look at this one coming up. It's amazing. Right now, I'm just not in real deep water, but the lake isn't really deep. I think maybe 30 feet so far is the deepest we've been in. It has a, a fairly silty bottom, as you see here. And but underneath this hard pan, rock, gravel. Ooh, there's a nice shot. Yeah, we're in a little bit of a school of them now. If you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to TM Key Film. And if you're interested in Puget Sound seafloor, the deepest depths of the sound, check out Doc C's S E E S <laughs> under Puget Sound and you will learn a lot about what's happening in the waters of our Northwest and a big thank you to the gentleman that invited us out Pat wonderful guy shared his lake with me private he goes out and bass fishes whenever he wants and look at some of the size of the fish in here he says he has a secret lure he uses, but he doesn't really share it with anybody. <laughs> oh, what an opportunity and gift to come up on his private lake and be able to fly the camera in here and look at the seafloor or lake bottom floor, substrate, I don't know. Man, chasing these fish is kind of fun now that I got kind of a track on which way they're going. And for you bass fishermen out there, I can give you some real good tips on where you need to put that lure to catch them. I'm learning a whole bunch from getting in with these bass. I've always chased salmon and looked at crabs and shrimp, but now I'm learning a lot about how to chase after, find, and hook lake bass. Black striped bass, yellow bass, green bass, yellow, blue, black bass. Uh, you bet your bass. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at that old growth log sitting there. And look what's around it. It's amazing. It's almost like you're in an aquarium with it set up and then the fish are swimming around it. But we're actually in this private lake 
looking at my depth finder, I'm not really deep. I'm only in about 20 feet of water. But boy, oh boy, I get caught up in these branches, though, or limbs, or whatever you want to call it, of these of this old wood here that's on the floor. So I got to kind of navigate carefully as I move through, but I want to also stay with these fish, and this is where they're at. They're in amongst these limbs. So it only would make sense, instead of casting your lure out to the middle of the lake, fish right at your feet in these branches area, and look what's in here. I mean, we're only like six feet off the shoreline. It's nuts. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for taking the time and enjoying this as much as I enjoyed doing it on this lake, filming the floor of a private lake thanks to pat and again thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this and i will work more on some of the neatest things lately i've been finding in the puget sound along the kitsap beaches yeah so get ready for that kind of action coming up until next time be safe out on the water and keep your hook sharp, your leaders clean. Oh, yeah, and you want to catch fish? Fish where there's fish. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Thanks for watching.